Welcome back, everyone, to the next installment of Beit and Kaitos. We're in the castle now, but you know what I discovered as I was scrolling through my stuff? Whoops. We have a dead flower, which can cause poison. What a tragedy. Maybe it didn't get enough sunlight, or perhaps it longed to be with its fellow flowers in a garden. Not only that, but my young bamboo... Remember the bamboo sprout that, or shoot, whatever, that heals you a little bit, then turns into a weapon? Uh, well, those aged even more. Now they're fishing rods, which have slightly less attack. Fishing rod made from select bamboo. Easy grip for all day fishing. It's really flexible, so it can handle the big game. Electric hook available. What? I'm not sure if that's a hint or if that's just funny flavor text, but this is where we are now. So the next step is to take care of loose ends. So let's deal with... Okay, this area is good. We can deal with some problems with rubble, as you have seen. Can I not even investigate this stuff? I might need to come around from the other side. What a nuisance. Alright, bye. I guess I'll go up the left stairs. It's fine. Everything's fine. The knights should be proud they fought with valor. They did what they could against such overwhelming forces. Are you here to help us clean up this mess? Cleaning up? Let's help them. Yeah, in situations like this, we have to lend a hand. What should we do? Oh, you'll help us. Well, the job is simple. I just want you to move the rubble off to the sides to get this hall cleared. You just push it in the direction you want to put it. That's all. Push aside any rubble that's in the way. Good luck. Okay, so... Yeah, this is a little awkward. So, let's push this... Whoops. Let's push this down. See it slide into place like that? This, I guess I just push up. Good enough? Ugh. I don't want to be off the screen. Give me a break. Let's keep working. I'm sorry. Should I push this up, I suppose? That's out of here. This might be a little awkward to get working properly. I guess I can push this up, hopefully. Very good. Looks like you're done. Thanks, you were a great help. The head knight is upstairs. He doesn't have much, but he'd like to give you a reward. Okay, cool. Castle Elnoth would surely have fallen. So what do you mean upstairs? All the way upstairs? This guy? We bury the bodies of our comrades according to the traditions of the knights. We can rebuild the castle, but we can never bring back those we've lost. I'll never forgive the Empire. I managed to tidy up this section, but restoring the whole castle will take some time. Sure. I guess I'll go back down and tackle that other mess from the other side. Debris. Does this work? Does it make the debris disappear? Or do I just get the magnet essence of a pebble? No, that was it. That did not help me. Sorry. But perhaps there's this. Yeah, you want to help me clean this place up. Am I wrong? Huh? We want to help. Yeah, sure, after all, we can't even walk through here like this. What should we do? Oh, I was right. I knew you'd offer to help. The job is simple. Get rid of all this stuff. Totally and completely. It's easier if you magnetize it, right? Well, get to work. Well, the good news is that's easy. Done. I was just one at a time. Well, it's fine. I could just discard the quest magnus at my leisure. And then just keep doing this. This isn't too bad, you just better have at least one Magnus available. And this is ultimately good for me, too.
Makes you wonder why I couldn't do this with the other side, but oh well. Keep it coming. What is this, three more? Last one or two? No, it was just the one. Alright. Oh, everything's cleared up nicely. I knew you could do it. The head knight upstairs waiting for you. Give you a reward. Cool. Alright, let's do it. Feels good to take care of that little odd job. This guy? I heard you helped us with the restoration. Now the West Passage is almost completely repaired. Thank you. Please take this. It's not much, but it's all I have to show you how much I appreciate your help. Hydra? Oh, very useful. Now these passages are almost completely repaired. Tempest Shields. Looks like both the East and West Passages are in order. You not only helped our king, but also helped us restore the castle. I don't know how to thank you. Please take this. It'll help you on your journey. Huh. Glass earrings. Well... I don't have Liud, I guess. Finally engraved, these earrings emit a mysterious sound when shaken, improving the wearer's concentration. They provide moderate resistance to paralysis. Should I have Liud around? This is concerning to me, actually. Is he coming or what? I forgot what room I need to check. This is it. Oh, I do get a scene. Good. What should I do? I have betrayed my people. I can't return to my homeland, but they used me. Manipulated my thoughts to make me a tool for their vile plans. Why would I even want to go back? Liud, I was thinking... Why don't you come with us? I... beg your pardon? Come on, Shella. Are you serious? I mean, there's no guarantee he won't stab us in the back again. You never know. <laughs> the more the merrier, right? We could use you, Liud. Uh. Hey, don't worry. If you start getting weird on us again, I'll pop you one in the jaw. You'll snap right out of it. Remember... We're not trying to start a war with the Empire. It's about stopping Gelderblame and his malicious plans. Please, we could really use your help. I understand. I love that Callus gave Gabari a look when he got put back down. If you really need my help, I'd be more than happy to accompany you. Thank you so much. I'll do my best. Hooray, he's actually joined for real this time. And now I can equip those earrings. Oh, right, and he has dark red earrings. These elegant sunset colored earrings provide the wearer with slightly increased resistance to sleep but offer little protection otherwise. Well, we lose sleep protection, but we gain paralysis protection. And a lot of defense. Now let's get out of here. But as you can see, stuff ages on you and nobody notifies you. Which is all the more reason I need to pay attention to my auras of each element. Because they will age, and they won't tell me. I'll save again. Um, oh wait, actually I just beat a boss, so let's visit the church. Plus I could turn in a constellation anyway. 
at the very least the other two characters should level. Oh right, Kallus can class up. Wow, they really stepped it up. Ten more cards. But now Kallus can go even further with his combos. Look at that. Sabres, long swords, really not great. Genuinely not great. Ugh, I'm uncomfortable about this. Defense. I can put on that brand new Tempest Shield. I don't know about these auras, though. Oh, I, I was scrolled down already. That's my problem. Defense 15. Where's my equipable armor? Here's this, I guess. I like that I could also sort by spirit number, though. That's genuinely useful. Here's Young Bamboo. I'm getting a bunch of spoiled stuff. This is the unfortunate part. I could put Blue Storm back on, I guess. I don't even know if I want to do that. At least it's easy to bring out. Honey? Milk? Kallus already has a voice. The Fishing Rod is attack 18. That's better than my freaking long swords. That's actually insane. Maybe I should just equip those. As embarrassing as that is. It's better than my saber. Although I can't defend with it. Freaking fishing rod. But oh well, I'm out. Now let's take care of the constellation. Here's Hydra. Enjoy. There it is. Hope you like it. Oh! The sparse canvas has been improved or whatever. I owe it all to you. Thank you very much. Pegasus Cloak. Hello! And then for the actual constellation, I guess? Shawl of the Goddess, that sounds important. Any info? Nope. All right, see ya. So Pegasus Cloak and Shawl of the Goddess, huh? For Shella, of course. This robe enhances movement and enables the wearer to shrug off attacks from lesser enemies. That's very good defense. And this shawl stays on the wearer's shoulders, regardless of any jumps or flips performed, perhaps due to a holy blessing. It also boosts the wearer's resistance to poison. Very, very nice. So, defense 20 up to uh, 60. That's insane. And then the shawl, do we have any light armor? I'll get rid of the black and bananas. There we go. Very, very good. So not only did I get a card for Hydra, I got one for returning X number of items. Cool. How do I get to the world map? Can I, like, this is the boat out of here. Can I just, hmm, let's see if this works. I was told you'll be leaving for Anuenue. The vessel behind me is His Majesty's ship, the Mindir. It's at your disposal by order of the king. Are you ready for departure? No, I'm not. I see. Let me know when you're ready. Yeah, I want to go to the world map, but not the select giant island world map. I guess I'll just have to navigate to the bottom of the castle again. At least I've cleared it out. See, it paid off. Do you think I could just go out the front door? That'd be great. And I can get Hebel whenever I want, which is kind of funny. Maybe those double doors, now that things are fixed? I don't know. 
No good, I can just leave. Here's the bridge that I don't think I've ever been on in standard gameplay. I guess I walked up here and decided to leave. Like, go back at night. Here we are. Now I can go to the... Regular world map? What's this guy doing? Oh, what I get for a cold drink? I'm running about checking each area for damage. Please let me through. Yeah, no drink for you, but I'll I'll get on that. I really will for Super Duper Real. That's actually my next immediate destination. I'm gonna grab some stagnant water, but this time I'll actually get a reward for it. That soldier would have given me crap no matter what I gave him, but this guy will be a little more receptive. Let me get the pleasant music again. Where did I get the stagnant water from? I think it was in one of these houses. Here? I actually forgot if it was in here or the warehouse, but I want to say it was right around here. Maybe these? Yeah, we're good. Stagnant water, let's get it. Good. Step on out and go right back to the world map. Oh yeah, I can go out the left side. Yeah, I don't have to sneak through the bar anymore. Let's go right back to Sheliac. I'm gonna go find that guard who's sprinting everywhere. No more Imperial Presence. Now, where's that guy? There he is. Here, it's stagnant, but it'll do. Thank you very much. I happens to be extremely thirsty. A knight must return courtesy with courtesy. Please take this. Shadow Coronet. There you go. I'm running about checking for damage in my stream. Hurry, please be a lamb and let me through. Yep, he's still running. Alright, so Shadow Cornet. For the Ud, of course. One and eight. Oh, perfect, I'll replace that. Now I'm gonna go to the entrance of town. Okay, I guess this is the first door I can enter. Remember, we never did go in here. This is where Liud was getting chewed out in that one cutscene. Light from outside and light from the candles reflect off the surface of the ceramic vase, conjuring the illusion of a swaying flame. Savings book. Got another one. Oop. Secret chest. Butterfly. Better than the mosquito, I'll give it to Gabari. One and six. Can I do better than that? Just replace the six, I guess. Unless I have another mosquito somewhere. I mean, I do, but not with those numbers. So, here you go. And yeah, there's the mayor. You're a traveler, aren't you? My apologies for all the fuss. Once the castle's been restored, things should calm down a little. That may be a better time for you to visit. Castle Elnath and the clouds surrounding it will be returned to the height of their beauty. By the way, it occurs to me, I'm going to need another thing of water here. Take a look at this person. I heard King Laticon was ambushed. Damn the Empire, those cowards. I hope our dear king is safe. Yeah, but... Maybe you? Damn those Imperial soldiers, they must have hit the streetlights on purpose so the damage will stand out. What would Chiliac be without his lights? I'll fix them all, whatever it takes. Still, there's someone else working at something. You? Lampposts are partially dug up. What a mess if these puppies fell over, huh? It's those Imperial soldiers. You? Wiring problem? They're not lighting up properly? It might not be because of the Imperial soldiers, but in times like these, I want to blame them anyway. <laughs> Very self-aware. Daddy hasn't come home yet, but I can't worry forever. If he's not coming back, I have to protect Mommy and my country. I'm gonna follow in Daddy's footsteps and become a knight. It's depressing, though. That's just the guard. 
What about you? Diadem, planning a surprise attack. Does the Empire feel no shame? If anyone carried a surprise attack, it was them. None of us had any idea something like this would happen. And you? Oh, no, please, no, never, no way. Those Imperial soldiers, they simply had to write their names here, huh? And it's not coming off, how typical. They simply had to use something that won't rub off. I'm not making progress here, I'm not making progress. I can help. Now, there are two options I can take that ultimately lead to the same goal. One of them is I can capture a cloud. Remember, I've done that before. In um, the cloud passage, I could capture a cloud and just wait and wait for it to age. Or I can skip ahead. I'll go to the warehouse and take a look at... That's a lot of fish. That's a lot of fish. They got them back. Freshly caught sea bream with rainbow colored scales are piled up high. Wow. And I can capture the essence of the sea bream filet. You know what? I'll do it. Just for quest purposes. I'm going to drop it immediately, but I got it. A filet from a sea bream, the main catch among Nashua's fishing folk. A chief diadem export, the reasonable price tag makes this a must for the average citizen's dining table. Yeah, I can just take it again. This is great. Anyway, let's go over here. Hopefully I can do this. I don't even know if I can, actually. This is salt. Yeah, I don't want the salt. I might actually be blocked off. Damn, too many fish. I can't believe it. I can hardly believe it. Well, I was going to say those pots have... Oh, damn it. I was going to say those pots have salt water. Okay, I could still capture the salt. Not that I want to. Wow, alright, guess I'm grabbing a cloud. This is annoying. Leave salty water lying around long enough, you'll get salt. Yep. I can't believe it. I can't get back to the those pots back there. That's just the sea bream. There we go, I'm gonna grab some essence of the cloud. Finally. Hey, guess what? I can do the thing. Helmet. Uncooked rice. Aqua burst. Fire burst. Absolutely ridiculous. But. Oh, look what I did. I got my cloud and I got a difficult combo, which means I can rearrange Shella's deck so I don't have. just uncooked rice and the power helmet. Although, uh, honestly, I, I might keep those around for later anyway, because there are later combos I can do, but I got rice, and it heals 800 HP. This fluffy rice should be eaten right away, or it will harden and get sticky. For sushi, blend in vinegar and cool the fan. Yeah, okay, let's give you the best healing item I've found in the entire game so far. I made it myself. 
now I just want to leave this dungeon and just wait for a damn hour because that's what this game is. The good news though is I don't have to purely wait, I could try producing other combos. And I think that actually is what I'm going to do, probably off camera, just because, as you can plainly see, comboing is a very tedious process. You really have to work to get there. So, do I have a rare picture of Liu? I, I do! Liu's military training prevents him from smiling in battle, but all rules have exceptions. Alright! Well, I'm going to take this opportunity to do some combos. First of all, my fading notebooks have faded. Now they're blank notebooks. The once faded letters are now gone completely. Nothing is left but crisp white sheets of paper. It looks like a brand new unused notebook. Okay, Liud can do something. Blank notebook, red and blue pencil. Done. Behold, I got a new thing. Anyway, Callus, I've already done this combo, but... I want to produce more fruit. Here you go. Here you go. Pretty flower plus fire burst. Alright, got a brand new combo. Alright, honestly, good start. So, Doodle Book, which, defense minus 15, that's theoretically useful in battle, but I'm not going to be keeping this. A drawing scribbled in red and blue. Some say that a child's hidden talents can be found in Doodles, but this mess is hopeless. Yeah, I don't want that. Uh, a melon I actually do want, because I'm trying to gather a certain amount of non-rotten fruit. But I have ashes, which I think is literally useless. These are the chief ingredients in certain chemicals or detergents, but they're pretty much useless otherwise. Evil ashes may form if you burn cursed paper. That doesn't have to do with this, but that's a hint for a completely different combo that you can do. But I'm going to take the regular melon. Well, now it is time for me to make something extremely useful. I'm going to do a blank notebook plus the magic pen. This is one of the better items in the game if you're going for completion. It's green again, ooh, what does that mean? A Prophet's Notebook. Very, very useful. A special notebook that's powered by a Prophet's magic and reveals magnets that have changed over time. So when I go into my menu in camp, it'll say something like, oh hey, something happened. A brand new item in the Magnus menu. Yes, extremely useful. This lets me actually keep track of what changed. I kept saying that the game doesn't tell you, but now it does. Oh, well, this is good. I can do a combo instantly. Pretty flower, aqua burst. You did. Aqua burst. Now I'll just concentrate on killing the enemy. Root rotten flower. Sometimes the most vital parts are hidden from the eye. A flower without healthy roots will wilt from lack of nutrition. Time for a brand new move. Pretty flower. Dark Flare. See what happens. You Dark flare. I didn't even have to wait. I can combo into a dead flower. Now I'll give another one of these things a shot. Root Rotten, Flower, and Aqua Burst. Oh look, it's a different way to make a dead flower, and that does count as a different combo. Oh, would you look at that? My cucumbers turned into pickled cucumbers. They heal quite a bit. Hey look, I could try a new combo with all those dead flowers I made. One, two, three, four. I poisoned them. Wow. That dealt surprisingly decent damage, and it made a new card. Not bad. Dead flowers. Terribly dry and withered. If placed on a fire, they'd burn to a crisp in no time. No value as ornamental flowers. Send them to someone you care nothing for. And 40% chance of paralysis. Attack 48, that's surprisingly decent. 
Well, maybe I'm not being told because I saw it during the battle, but my cucumbers have now turned into pickled cucumbers, which really good healing. I don't even know if the cucumbers heal you at all, and the attack is just way better. The trick is to roll fresh cucumbers on the cutting board to smooth their surface before pickling them. One bite will fill you with zest. Here comes an unconventional combo. Four bad fruit. There you go, brand new card. Rotten Cornucopia. Attack 50, that's not bad, and good chance of poisoning. Giving off a moldy, rotten smell. Small bugs are attracted to it and buzzing about. Sending it to someone would be terribly rude. You wouldn't dare. Amazing. I'm gonna leave now, because I am just getting smacked around trying to do these stupid combos. The things I go through for the sake of 100%. Oh, hello. Thank you, Prophet Notebook. Hey, check it out. It's been four hours, so my milk no longer exists. It is now cheese, which still heals quite a bit, actually. Slice it up with a fork instead of a knife. Cutting it into super thin slices lets you enjoy the flavor much longer. The perfect complement to wine. Deluxe sweet wine plus cheese. And with this, I have made cheese fondue. Cheese fondue. Creamy melted cheese prepared for dipping French bread in various vegetables. A special treat indeed. For all you cheese lovers. Okay. Here's one from Shella. Four pretty flowers. One, two. Three. Four. New combo. Now let's take him out. Four pretty flowers makes pretty flowers. They heal a lot. There's nothing like a bouquet of pretty flowers to cheer up someone sick in bed. Well, look here, I have another combo. Sun-dried wine, cheese. New thing. Green mold. It's slimy and gross. Don't eat it, okay? Use Kronos Yell level 1 a few times in battle after using green molds to gain a level. What? I'll have to look into that. And one more combo, honey and cheese. Here. Made a new thing. But as a reward, we got chestnuts. They heal a lot, and they can cure poison. Sweet chestnuts, their hard shells keep in the flavor and nutrients. There's something about the sound of shells cracking that just makes you want to crack open more. Well, it's time to do one more combo. Let's do not three, but four melons. One, two, three, four. That is 720 healing. Good stuff. You remember when I used four rotten fruits, I got a rotten cornucopia. This one's a proper cornucopia. Now I could finally take this monster out. I had to almost deck myself to get this thing, so this is better be worth it. Despite the conflicting living dark, this thing is long gone, yep. Get out of here. Alright, let's see what my prize is. That was in big Um Fruit Cornucopia heals 340. A basket of freshly picked fruits, straight from the orchard. A sweet smell hangs over it. Various kinds of fruit are included. The perfect gift to send to someone that's helped you out recently. Sure, I'll take it. That was seriously exhausting. Also, my rotten grapes turned into the deluxe sweet wine. Oh, hey! Dried flowers! You know what? Maybe I have one more combo after all. In any case, let's go ahead and swap out one of the melons with the fruit cornucopia, but now I have some really good healing, at least for a while. Heals 1 HP. Just about useless. A dried flower will last a long time. Just add water to restore its beauty. Good for ornamental as well as medicinal purposes. Good, let's do it. Dried flowers. Aquaburst. 
He blocked the 1 HP healing. What a demon. In any case... Hey look, I made the pretty flower again. And now that I have finally dealt with these exhausting, trust me on this one, exhausting combos, I'm going to wrap up. See, what you might not appreciate, because I've supercut this, and I don't know if you're very familiar with Bait and Kaidos, is... Ooh. I can go back to Sheliak, actually. Is that, um, to put things in perspective, doing my combos... I now have Salty Water. It definitely took over an hour for this. Again, let me put things in perspective for you. How do I get four pretty flower cards so I can make pretty flowers? I had two pretty flower cards. Well, I need to do a flower bud plus light burst to create a pretty flower. So I have to do that in a battle. I have to draw those cards and then use them. And then select that card from my victory screen. Then I have to do it again, because I need two of them. But oh wait, I didn't have a flower bud, did I? Mine turned into a dead flower. So I had to go and find a creature that drops it. Kill it, hope I get the drop. Then, draw the card to make the combo. Then, draw the cards to make the combo again. Then, now I have four pretty flowers, draw all four of them to make that combo. That's what this game is, if you're going for 100%. Comboing to combo. It is so tedious and grindy. Anyway, now that I've taken care of all my combos, I actually got the salt water. Let's go ahead and talk to this woman dealing with the graffiti. Here you go. Hey, it's working. I should have used salt water all along. Thanks for the tip. Here, take this. It's not much, but you might get some use out of it. Flash armor. I've already had that, but... Now I have another, and it is one of the better armors at this point in the game, so it's good to have more when I can. Let's get out of here. And now, well, I guess it doesn't really matter where I save, it probably should be Sheliak actually, but I'll, I'll go to Nashira just because the blue flower is right here and I can rest. And you know what? All that comboing probably... Well, I don't know about probably, but may have granted me a level up. Let's find out. Yup. I'm not 100% sure. Like, I guess Gibari got the experience. Do you not need to be in the party to get it? Because that'll make me very happy. <laughs> oh, hey, it cured his poison. Nice. All right, good. Now I'm a little bit stronger. Let's get out of here. I tell you, it feels really good to take care of this stuff. You know I'm going to have to do it at some point in the game, but this is that much less that I have to think about. There we go. And for now, it is time to stop the installment. Well, we certainly made a lot of progress today, didn't we? We took care of Castle Restoration, and now we're allowed to leave to the next big island. But of course we took care of a bunch of side stuff too, which involved taking some time to do some combos and produce new Magnus. That took a long time. That was definitely a long time. But you know what? It's out of the way. That much less to take care of later. Until next time, everyone.